The A200 is engineered to outperform the competition while using the fewest number of air valve parts in the industry. In fact, during operation, only four pieces of the air valve move. Check valves. Diaphragms. The diaphragm rod assembly. The main air valve. And the pilot air valve. Now that you know the key components of the A200, we can discuss how it works. Two diaphragms, connected by the diaphragm rod, work in unison to create the liquid motion of the pump. While one side is in suction mode, the other is in discharge mode. As a diaphragm moves inward, it creates suction. This suction motion causes the balls to move towards each other. As this happens, the top valve closes and the bottom valve opens. This allows liquid to enter the chamber through the bottom port. As a diaphragm moves outward, the discharge motion causes the balls to move away from each other. As this happens, the top valve opens and the bottom valve closes. This allows liquid to exit the chambers and discharge through the top port. This process constantly alternates between the two chambers to create a continuous cycle. The pump diaphragms are driven by pressurized air that is directed left and right by the movement of the main air valve. Here's how it works. When air pressure is applied to the pump, the main air valve moves up and down. When the main air valve is in the down position, air pressure is diverted to the right diaphragm. At the same time, exhaust air from the left diaphragm passes through the shuttle and shuttle plate and exits the rear of the pump. When the main air valve is in the up position, air pressure is diverted to the left diaphragm, while the right diaphragm is exhausted. This process constantly alternates between the up and down position to create a continuous cycle. The pilot air valve directs the air that moves the main air valve. It is constructed of five separate chambers and a central rod that moves side to side due to the diaphragm pressurizations. The pilot and main air valves work together to drive the pump. The pilot air valve has two logical states, which we will call left and right. Pressurized air enters chamber three in the middle of the pilot valve sleeve. Chamber three is always under pressure. When the pilot air valve travels far enough to the right, chambers three and four are connected. This allows the pressurized air from chamber three to pass through and exit chamber four, which moves the main air valve upward. This causes the left diaphragm to pressurize and the pilot valve to begin moving left. When the pilot air valve travels far enough to the left, chamber three connects to chamber two and the air moves the main air valve downward. This causes the right diaphragm to pressurize and the pilot valve to begin moving right. Throughout the cycle, one side pressurizes as the other exhausts. This process constantly alternates between the pilot and main air valve to create a continuous cycle. The simple, straightforward design of the all-flow A200 allows the air and liquid ends to work together reliably to transfer your process fluid in the most efficient manner possible.